when I want to apply trial and error method. In that time, I'll go with the brute force technique. Traverse the whole array. So what I will do from the starting index to till end, what I will do? I'll traverse the array in order to find the smallest element. Searching is nothing but the find the particular element in the given list of array element. Hello to all, a warm welcome to my new topic that is brute force technique and exhaustive search. I am your Revati ma'am, faculty from the Department of Computer Science Vidyashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence, Mysuru. Before going to start my today's session, let me to recall the topic what I have discussed in my previous session. In my previous session, I started with what is asymptotic notation. So what is asymptotic notation? That is nothing but the mathematical representation of time complexity. And what are the three different types of asymptotic notation? We have discussed that is big O, big omega and theta notation. Okay, fine. In my today's class, I'm going to deal with brute force algorithm. Along with that, I'm going to deal with selection sort and linear search technique. Anyway, let's see what is brute force algorithm. When I want to apply trial and error method, in that time, I'll go with the brute force technique. So, the most common and basic and very simple technique that is nothing but the brute force algorithm. So, it's a straightforward approach used to solve the problem. Now, okay, more technically, it is just like uh, iterating every possible available solution. In the sense what? I'm going to have the problem. Okay, for that, I'm going to try to find the solution in all the possible ways. Okay, I can able to apply trial and error method to get the output. So, it is a straightforward technique and I'll try to get all the possible outcomes by using brute force technique. Okay, fine. If I consider that I have 4-bit pin. How many 4-bit pin? Okay, now see here 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now, I'll try to form all the combination of pins. Okay, in order to get my actual pin. So, I'll, I'll try to form all the combinations in order to open the lock. Now, consider that if there is a lock, think that you have a lock, okay, and the lock four digit pin. For that lock, I'm using four digit pin. And while selecting the digit, okay, how I'm going to select that is zero to nine. One method that is in linear fashion, that is one, two, three. Okay, next time it may be two, three, four, five. So, I'm trying to form all the possible combination in order to get the actual four digit pin. Here I'm using trial and error method in order to get the final pin. So that is nothing but the brute force algorithm or brute force technique. Under brute force technique in my today's class, I'm going to deal with the selection sort as well as linear search. So, as the name itself indicates that, what a selection sort? Selecting the particular item and I'm going to place the item in its actual place. In the sense what? Selecting the first small element and I'm going to place it in the actual place. Okay, fine. Selection sort is a sorting algorithm or it is a sorting technique that is used to sort a list of element either in the ascending order or in the descending order. This algorithm chooses the minimum element, minimum element in the sense what? Small element from the given list and swap it with the first element. So, uh, see here, I have the element 5, 3 
and 2. Okay, which is the smallest element in the given list that is 2. Okay, now what I will do, I will swap 2 with 5. So, I am getting 2, 3, 5. In selection sort, I am only going to select the small element and I am going to replace or swap with the first element. Similarly, it chooses the second minimum element from the list and swap it with the second element of the list. So, it continues. So, I am continuously swapping until unless I am going to get the ordered list. Either it may be in ascending order or it may be in descending order. So, this selection sort in C program is an in place algorithm. So, what is the name given to the selection sort? That is nothing but the in place algorithm. In the sense what? I am going to find the smallest element and I am going to fix that smallest element to its actual place or actual position. For that reason, it is called in place as it swaps the elements in the list itself. It does not require an extra list or array. So, while swapping, I am not going to consider any extra array. So, in a single array, I am going to swap the element and that is known as in place algorithm. Okay, fine. See here, this is the algorithm used to perform selection sort. The algorithm of the selection sort in C program as follows. So, what I want to do? Make a variable. Okay. First, what I want to do? I want to find the minimum index. Initialize it to the location 0. So, minimum index is nothing but the 0th index. Okay. Traverse the whole array. So, what I will do from the starting index 2 till end, what I will do? I will traverse the array in order to find the smallest element. If I get the smallest element, what I want to do? That is, while traversing the array, if we find the element that is smaller than the minimum index, Okay, that's nothing but the min index. Then what I want to do? I just want to swap. Okay, I just want to swap. After which, what I want to do? Increase the min index by 1. So that is going to point to the next element. Repeat the above process until the whole array is sorted. So I, I'm going to repeat this process until unless the whole array gets sorted. So, this is all about selection sort algorithm. Now, let me to consider the example here. Think that I have five array element. How many array element? Five array element. And what are the elements I have? Five, two, nine, six and four. Okay, fine. If I consider the array index, it is 0th index and it is 4. So, it is n minus 1. Initially, what is my min index? That is nothing but the 0th index. Now, min index points to the element 5. Okay, fine. Then what I will do? I will start traversing. Okay, fine. When I get smallest element, which is the smallest element here? 2. Okay, if I get smallest element... Okay, what I want to do? I just want to interchange. That's nothing but the swap. So, after swapping, see here, this is my actual array. Now, what I want to do? I just want to increment min index by 1. Okay, now min, is, min index is going to point to the first element that is 5. Okay, fine. Now, see, if I see this array element, which is the smallest element I have here, that is 4. Once I get 4, what I am going to do? I am just swapping the array element each other. So, after swapping, see here. So, 4 is placed at its original position. Okay, fine. Now, see, 5 at the last position. Now, what I am going to do? I am going to increment min index by 1. Now, what is the value of min index? That is 9. 
Okay, now I'm going to compare 9 with 6. Okay, then 9 with 5. Okay, fine. Now what I'm going to do, so this is the smallest index, that is smallest element. So what I will do, I'll just interchange the element. Now, 5 is at its original position. This is the sorted array element. Okay, this is the way I'm going to use selection sort. Now, dear student, I'm going to have the linear search. Okay, what is searching? Searching is nothing but the find the particular element in the given list of array element. For example, think that I have the array element 3, 5, 7 and 8. Okay, fine. Now, what I will do, okay, I am going to consider the key value. For example, say it is 7. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to compare this key with the first element of an array. So what's my first element of an array? That is 3. 3 is not equal to 7. Then I'll compare 7 with 5. It's, all, it's also false. Then I'll compare 7 with 7. The condition is true. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to display the message that okay, key is found and I'm going to display the position. Okay, fine. So linear search, the simplest and most commonly used searching technique. Okay, if I consider searching technique, I have two different type of searching technique. One is binary search and one is linear search. Anyway, we study binary search under divide and conquer technique. Okay, fine. But in brute force algorithm, we are going to study linear search. It mainly used to find the element from an unordered list. So here, okay, I can have the ordered list of array element or unordered list of array element. And most commonly we use unordered list of array element. In linear search, the list is simply traversed in the sense what? From starting to till end. What I'm going to do? I'm going to compare in order to find the key. So that's nothing but the traversing. And each element in the list is matched with the element. Element in the sense what here? That's nothing but the key value in order to find the location. When the searching process is done, it returns the location of the element if the key or element is present in the given array. If not, okay, the algorithm returns null. That's nothing but the zero. It has high time complexity if the linear search is big O of N. So big O of N in the sense what? There's nothing but the worst case. In my worst case, okay. So what is that? That's nothing but the big O of N. Okay, fine. Now, see here, initially we travel the array of element. That is nothing but the steps used to perform linear search algorithm. So initially what I'm going to do, I'm going to compare the key with each and every element of an array. Now compare the array element with the search element. Okay, then if it is an correct match, in the sense what? If the key is found, it's a correct match, then you have to return the corresponding index. If the key is not found, then what I'm going to do? I'm going to return the zero. So if the key does not match, then it will switch to the next element. So this is the algorithm. See here, step one, okay, what I want to do, set i to one. 
So I is what? That is nothing but the starting index of an array. If I greater than n, n is nothing but the total number of array element. Then what I want to do? If the condition is false, okay, directly jump to the step 5. Okay, fine. If the condition is true, what I want to do? Here x is nothing but the key. If a of i equal to key, then I'm going to jump into the 6. Step 6. That is print the key. Okay. Found at the position. That's nothing but the index i. After that, I'm going to jump into the step 8. That's nothing but the exit. Okay, fine. Suppose if the key is not found, then what I want to do? I want to increment i by 1 in order to com compare my key with the next element of an array. After that, what I'm going to do? Once again, I'm going to check the condition that is i greater than n. Okay. So, this is the way I'm going to use linear search algorithm. Okay, fine. Let me to consider the simple example here. What is my key? Key is nothing but 1. Okay. So, what is my key? Key is nothing but 1. Now, what I'm going to do? I'm going to check key with the element 2. So, that is 2 equal to equal to 1. If the condition is true, what I want to do? I want to display the index. Okay, fine. Here condition is false. Then what I want to do? I want to increment. Okay, I want to increment. That is here it is key and here it is k. k by 1. That's nothing but the, it's going to point the position 4. So dear student, now k is nothing but 4. 4 equal to equal to 1, the condition is false. So what I want to do? I want to increment i by 1. Now i is 3, 3 is pointing 0. Okay, 0 equal to equal to 1, the condition is false. So what I want to do? I want to increment i by 1, that nothing but the, now k is pointing to 1. Okay, fine. Now, 1 equal to equal to 1. The condition is true. Okay. So, I'm going to display the message that key is found and it found at the position 4. So, where the key is found? Found at the position 4. And if I consider the time complexity of linear search algorithm, that is nothing but the big O of N in the worst case. Okay, fine. So, dear student, this is all about today's session. Anyway, in the next session, we are going to meet with and some other interesting topic. Until that, keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.